Hello all, we got another um, original 16 product, Copper Ale, setting at 5.2% 5, 5 alcohol. This one I've tried as well before, really nice, I really like this one. I've been really just actually liking the original 16 uh, products that they've been making. I agree Great Western in general. I remember quite a few years ago actually, I wasn't a big fan of them, but um, I've been seeing that they're starting to pick up the game and make a... A lot more different flavorful uh, beers, not just the original Lagers and Pilsners and so on. You know, they've got those range, but they've also got other ones as well. And I'm really happy that they're starting to push those uh, products about. Um, not saying that I don't like the Pilsner and Lagers. They're really actually nice of their products. They taste better. They're not like the corn musty taste to them, not skunky taste. They're really good, um, fresh ingredients. You can really taste it inside their products. So that's nice to see. Um, but yeah, going back to what I was saying, now this is um, the Copper Ale. And uh, got my old Moosehead cup again here. Well, let's uh, let's give this a pour, shall we? It's the whole point of this whole video, so might as well make her. My phone's not as, I guess, good quality as I'd like to have. I wish I had a camera or something. It'd be a lot better quality. But this one is a coppery look to it. If it doesn't show on, on the phone, I'm sorry, you guys, but this does have a copper look. It really, really is a. I'd say maybe just a little more red than the copper look, but very, very close. Um, came with one finger of head. I've had them come up with two fingers of head as well. I think it just really comes down to your pouring. Uh, if you let it splosh a little bit, it foams up more. You know, it really depends on the pour. I've seen pours come down to huge heads and the same beer come up with like nothing, right? So. But um, the smell on this, uh, roasted malts, very malty beer, and I love malty beer. They're one of my favorite kind of beers. I actually love Hefeweizens, and I love um, malty beers. Anything with malts, like box, I love stouts, um, porters, those are amazing. And I'm hoping Great Western gets in that uh, type of uh, zone eventually, but... This one, uh, can still see through it, but not very well. This one, like I was saying in a previous other video with that, um, the, um, what was the other beer there? Uh, the white or whatever it was. Yeah, I forget what it was. The, the 4.8%, the one, um, that's like the Cronenberg. Yeah, that one, um, is their other non-filtered one this one almost looks like it but because like this one's probably the comes the closest i like that smell though it's really 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 nice mm. anyways cheers it's got that roasted taste to it roasted malts um very nice, very nice beer. Celebrating the spirit of our founders, original 16 copper ales brewed with the finest 100% two-row prairie barley. That's just a different type of barley. Um, inclu including a blend of roasted black and caramel malts and five choice hop uh, varietals. Our special and unique double-aged process results in an unparalleled smooth and refreshing beer. That is really good. I really do like this beer. The finish is really nice. It's that um, roasted, malty taste to it. Um, that's really delicious. It's not almost, it's not too smoky or too overpowering where that's all you can taste. You can still taste that beer presence, which I really like. Some beers that they, they honestly will have um taste so much of something else where you can barely even taste the beer 
taste. And, and that's in my own palate, I guess, talking for it. But this one doesn't have that, and I kind of like that. And it's also very smooth for um, what it is. This is really nice. <clears throat> that one I'm going to have to give just because it's more of my profile, multi porters, stout kind of profile. I would give this one an 8.5 out of 10. That's how good it is. I, I like I was saying before too, I like Great Western's products because at least here in Saskatchewan, they're always on sale and I like that. Affordability is something as well that I try to go for. I like Paddock Woods um, products here in Saskatoon as well, but I find that they charge a little bit more. Where they're like 13 to $17, that's a growler fill. And, um, well, you know, I guess they're, it does make up for their quality in some of the higher ABVs that some of their products have, which is nice. But I find Great Western still a little bit more affordable than Paddock Wood. And I'm like, I was, I'm trying to support and make videos of products that we don't see on videos as much, especially Saskatchewan products. And that's something I'm kind of more pushing towards is showing the products here. In our province, you know, we sh they they show all sorts of different products of Alberta, you know, from um, Big Rock to all sorts of other things. Same with BC has a huge market, and they already have a lot of videos based on their products as well. But Saskatchewan kind of seems a little left in the, the dust, that one, on that way, I meant. And I would kind of like more people to try out the products and see more opinions, not just mine. Because same before, I got 8.5 out of 10. Char, thanks.